hello student today i am taking the class of life process and the topic digestion so digestion and digestive system so you know that digestion process takes place inside of the digestive system so first we understand what is digestive system digestive system so digestive system is a organ system which participate participates in the digestion and absorption of food material so digestive system contain two parts first part is alimentary canal and second part digestive glands digestive glands alimentary canal is a hollow tubular and muscular structure approximately 9 meter in length in between mouth and anus so this hollow tubular structure in between the mouth and anus it is called alimentary canal right and second part digestive glands so digestive glands uh, includes all these glands which help in the digestion stop alimentary canal includes following part number 1 mouth and buccal cavity number 2 pharynx number 3 esophagus number 4 stomach number 5 small intestine so it's a small intestine is also divided into three parts duodenum jejunum and ilia then large intestine large intestine further divided into two parts cecum and colon then colon is further divided into four parts ascending colon ascending colon transverse colon descending colon and sigmoid colon then rectum and anus these are the parts of alimentary canal which uh, extends from mouth to anus then the digestive glands includes three glands first salivary glands number 2 liver number 3 pancreas so we will understand this uh, part of the system with the help of diagram so first uh, i am drawing the diagram of digestive system so you will watch how can you draw this diagram easily
so this is the diagram of the system and uh, I am doing the labeling because labeling is very important part of uh, diagram so it should be correct and uh, it should be clear so first uh, this is mouth and uh, second buccal cavity so in first part of the elementary canal I have written mouth and buccal cavity so this is the first part second part this is called pharynx and uh, this is third part this is called esophagus esophagus and uh, this is stomach and uh, this is small intestine so in the first part of a small intestine duodenum and middle part jejunum and uh, lower part ileum and all are the part of a small intestine and uh, mm, this is the uh, large intestine so the initial part of large intestine called cecum and uh, this is this is colon part so the first part colon first colon part is called ascending colon ascending colon this is transverse colon and uh, descending colon and sigmoid colon and this part is rectum and this is anus and the glands uh, this, this is, these are the part of elementary canal but the second part is diastatic gland so first gland the liver and uh, pancreas and uh, salivary glands present inside of the buccal cavity so we cannot show the salivary glands inside of the buccal cavity so these are the three glands and these are the part of elementary canal so first uh, part of elementary canal mouth and buccal cavity so mouth we can say mouth is a opening mouth is a opening which is situated in the front side of the face in between the lips and below to the nose we can easily define this this is opening only this opening is called mouth so which is situated in between the lips and below to the nose but the back side of this mouth the chamber like structure it is known as buccal cavity it is called buccal cavity this is not mouth this is buccal cavity opening in between the lips it is mouth and the behind the mouth the chamber like structure it is buccal cavity so buccal cavity is covered buccal cavity is covered upper side from the upper palate lower side from the lower palate and both side of the cheeks so in buccal cavity we chewing the food and mix the saliva inside of this food so buccal cavity contain three import three components present inside of this buccal cavity so these components like uh, salivary gland number two teeth number three tongue so first we dis we will discuss about the salivary glands so 
salivary glands there are three pairs of salivary glands present inside of our buccal cavity so these salivary glands secret saliva so this saliva help in the digestion of starch and uh, kills the microorganism and uh, it provide the sliding surface to engulf the food inside of the stomach easily so saliva secret by the salivary glands this saliva contain three components one of mucus number 2 toilin enzyme it is also known as salivary amylase and third lysozyme so mucus provide sliding surface for engulf food easily in the digestive tract when we chewing the food then we mix the mucus and saliva inside of this food bolus so this food the when the saliva will be mix inside of the food then after mucus present in the saliva it provides sliding surface to engulf the food in the digest tract easily and second toilin enzyme act on the starch starch you know it is a storage food material inside of the plants so it is it is a, a type of it is a carbo it is a type of carbohydrate and uh, polysaccharide carbohydrate so toilin enzyme act on the starch and convert into the maltose maltose so maltose it is a disaccharide sugar di saccharide sugar it consist two unit of glucose right third lysozyme it is a type of enzyme it act on the bacterial cell or microorganism microorganism and kill them so these uh, saliva contain these three components which help in the digestion and uh, and killing of microorganism